with the aim to create awareness on the importance of eye donation and to motivate people to donate eyes. The 37th National Eye Donation Fortnight underway at District Hospital Dimapur. Senior Eye Specialist Dr. Sonla Aying said till date, 60 to 70 people have pledged to donate their eyes. This year, along with the uh, Azati Ka Amrit Mahatsav, we are celebrating the Eye Donation Awareness Program. This is the 37th National Eye Donation Program. We give awareness to the public to come forward for the pledge form and also to know more about the eye donation. This eye donation is uh, done for mostly corneal blindness. And we all know that the blindness is not only because of the cornea, other causes of cornea, uh, other causes of blindness is there, which we all know that most common is the cataract, which can be uh, corrected with the surgery, treatable, but uh, corneal blindness, which is, unless we get a new tissue cornea and we do the crafting, transplantation, Unless we do that, we cannot see. That's why this eye donation uh, awareness program has been celebrated every year according to the national. In Timabur District Hospital, uh, we have a corneal collection center. And the first time in Dimapur, which we have collected from the dead uh, corneal tissue is on November 21st, that is on 2012, 2012 November 21st, uh, Anandi, she was 87 years old, from her we have collected first and now uh, consequently we have collected around 18 corneas, means if they give the donation, both the corneas are collected, so it will be around 16 uh, corneas we have collected till now. As the year goes by, uh, public awareness is becoming more. Uh, since so many years we are observing and giving the awareness, during the time of awareness program, uh, most of them they try to give the pledge form. And uh, in normal days, they don't come forward, but this year we have a request that we will keep the pledge form ready even in the IOPT and also in the emergency in district hospital Dimapur so that uh, any time any person, whenever they need the pledge form, they can come and fill up the pledge form. Accordingly, the family members have to uh, inform us, the near and tier one have to inform us when the time for the tish, uh, corneal grafting has been to be done. So we will make it uh, like available. And till now, uh, we have collected around 60 to 70 pledge form till now. Okay. According to your observation, and we have been observing, we see uh, less participants, or I should say, less public are coming forward to donate. So what could be the reason? Uh, the fear and the hesitation uh, with the public is, like I should say that they are less aware of eye donation. And the second one is they think of disfigurement in the face. Like the, the, the face may be disfigured that kind of tendency, scaredness is there, but in which, uh, in reality, is that we just take out the layer of the cornea. It is a thin layer. And after taking out, we put the cover, a plastic cover, which is exactly like a cornea, and the eye is closed after the death. So there is no disfigurement in the face, Therefore, we should not be scared about it. So the 
what I have said is the main reason is the lack of awareness. The second is disfigurement on the face and uh, religiously also in all the part of uh, the same world, all the religious have supported that this is the because humanitarian point of view to give uh, the eye after the death, the cornea. So that hesitancy or fairness should not be there. So please let us know uh, who can donate and who cannot donate. Uh, very good question. This is like everyone can donate. Any age group and any sex can donate. Male, female, or any age, young, all, all can donate. Only who cannot donate is those patients who are HIV AIDS or a patient having hepatitis S indigen, hepatitis C infection, leukemia, or a septicemia, or a eye tumor that is involving the cornea. In those few cases only, we cannot donate. Otherwise, uh, everyone can donate. Okay. So, lastly, what message you would like to convey to the public regarding the eye donation? I just wanted to convey is that uh, try to come forward and give the pledge form. And we have a pledge form. This is a pledge form donor's uh, card symbol. Here, we have to write our name, age, and your, if you have any proof certificate like Aadhaar card or identity card, that card number has to be written, phone number only. Nothing much. You have to come forward and give your pledge form so that we will collect all the names and keep it with us. And if your near and dear one inform us, we are ready to come and collect the cornea. That's all. First of all, Thank you for joining Hornbill TV. We would like to know what makes you come forward to donate your eye and you have given your pledge today to donate your eye. So what is the main, what is the reason that you have come forward? Okay, the reason is that I myself have received a cornea transplant. In 1993, I met with an accident and I needed a corneal transplant. I went to Chennai, Shankar Netralia for this, but they, they told me to wait uh, for a long time because there are too many people waiting for cornea transplant. In India, very few are donating the eyes. So I had to wait a long time, maybe uh, more than a year, to get the eye, uh, the cornea transplant. So I got that and I realized that there are very few who are willing to donate. So and I, I now I know that donating the eyes is not at all a problem. It does not uh, uh, disfigure the face. It causes no problem at all. Therefore, I am happy to donate my eyes and I am happy if others are also going to donate. Okay. So, as you know, few, only few came forward to donate the eye. So you are one of the recipients of the uh, cordial as well. So what message you would like to give to the public, to the other uh, as well? The message is this. I would say as many as possible should donate the eyes because we lose nothing but in the eyes. After all, you are taking the eyes only after we die. And secondly, when you remove the, what you remove is only the cornea, the outermost covering, thin covering of the eyes. So you will not be disfigured. So I would say as many as possible should donate the eyes. Because in our country, many are waiting for cornea transplant. But they are not getting because very few are coming forward to donate the eyes. So I would request as many as possible to come and donate your eyes.